Okay, there's a bit of drama happening just now about um, claims that Freely and June Ryder have broken up and here's some of their evidence of it and um, I'm just going to take it, take this video from a psychological point of view, um, maybe looking at a bit of body language and a bit of communication language, non-verbal non communication um, going on here, as uh, if you do any research into body language, or, or not body language, but sometimes the way we say things say more than the words that we actually say. They actually say around about 70 to 80% of human communication is non-verbal. It's not the words that we say. It's sometimes the way we say it, sometimes the pitch that we say it, sometimes the timing that we say it is the more important thing. Um, and sometimes it's just the body language and where we're looking when we're saying it and all that kind of stuff. Um, so here I'm looking at vegan Ava, Ava, vegan Ava. Um, she's done a recording of their whole Q and A's, um, and uh, it's I've watched it. I haven't broken it down totally, but what I can say is that I got the impression from this Q and A that it was both very awkward, very uncomfortable, but also I th I got the impression that Freely is the manipulated partner in this relationship and to the point where I almost felt sorry for her. I, I think what I do, I do, I feel sorry for the relationship that she's in. It doesn't seem healthy, it doesn't seem balanced, it doesn't seem like an equal relationship especially with the uh the accusations or the revelations that have come out um recently uh, i think there is definitely a side where harley uses manipulation a lot on freely one of the most common things is the people that you manipulate the most are the people that you love the most so it not, may not be the case that he's doing it out of spite is the case that he really loves her, he really needs her, he really wants her, he really doesn't want to lose her. Maybe he feels threatened that if he loses her in any sort of way, his world is going to come crumbling down. And in this Q&A, you got an insight where freely, as, let's just say, as a, as the weaker, uh, the weaker partner in this, in this relationship, as the, it's not like battered wife syndrome or anything like that, but as the one who is the, she's the one that's under the thumb, is how we put it. You know, Harley's, Harley's the man of this relationship, and Freely is very much the doting follower. Uh, we believes everything that he says and does whatever he says and all that kind of stuff. And um, so this video is pretty awkward. I'm going to go full screen because I want to zoom in more on body language, head, face positions, and exactly listen to what is being said. So let's go. I'm going to go full screen. Uh, let's. This is as high a resolution as I can get. But if we're if we're just to flick through um, a couple of the timestamps, body language here. Okay, holding hands, good posture, sitting up. Um, legs dangling down, all good. We'll go every five minutes. Again, feeling good, confident, hands on knees. That's about all that we're seeing here. Maybe a little bit of cross legs there, but have to see exactly what's being said at that point. So still looking pretty confident, just, just sitting there, 14 minutes. Again, they're uh, from here, they're just kind of swinging their legs, relaxed, you know, twisting their feet. No, not too much movement going on here. Get up to 17 minutes. Yeah, okay, so we're looking pretty confident throughout all of this so far. Now, this is where somebody then asks a question. I think it's 22 minutes. This is it, 22, 17. Let's listen to exactly what we hear. Oh, well, watching a video in YouTube, uh, stated like the biggest mistakes you've made in the past. Uh, I'd like to find out from Freely what she thinks that uh, is limiting your, like, uh... So this guy says, uh, it was quite difficult to see here, uh, <laughs> it's quite difficult to hear there. He's saying, I'd like to hear from Freely 
what behaviors you've done in the past are limiting you at the moment or something like that. Freely instantly like, ha 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 ha, oh shit. This person wants my information. Let's see how quickly the body language changes when Freely is having to give an actual roasting here. Potential growth even further. Sorry, that's far too loud. Let's just. And then there he's, he Harley just said, my behaviour or Freely's behaviour. I, I, was that him? That was almost an instant accusation of what's limiting Harley is Freely's behaviour. Uh, so, Harley, I recall uh, watching a video in which you uh, stated like the biggest mistakes you've made in the past. Uh, I'd like to find out from Freely what she thinks behaviour is limiting your like, uh, potential growth even further. <laughs> 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 it's a question he wants. <laughs> 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 Look instantly cross legs holding on. In in basic one oh one body language, the more you're holding on to yourself, the more comfort uh, that you're seeking in body touching. Um, a, ter a form of nervousness will be playing with your hair again as a child you may have had your head stroked as a kid and you like that feeling of playing with your hair that's why kids will be like when they're nervous they'll be playing with their hair um, nervousness can also like more extended nervousness can be um, biting of the nails um, but in sitting positions here is very much sitting on your hands if you're not wanting to um, give away too much information. Hands in pockets as well. Uh, so you could be sitting down, hands in pockets is a, a body language that you're trying to not give away too much information. Again, trying to look away or, you know, if we're going for not trying to change the question here or not trying to change the answer from the question, she is looking for comfort in holding onto herself. The crossing of the legs is a defense mechanism in body language. I'm interested to see how Harley's body language changes in this bit. Um, be interesting. Interesting how this goes here, but here that was almost an instantaneous body language change. What's limiting Harley's growth? Um, from what I can see is his inability to take criticism and to grow from it. Like, recently. oh. No. So, Freely says, what's limiting Harley's ability to grow is his inability to take criticism. Instantly, Harley goes into a thinking posture. Hmm. What I fear here is this is Harley, he is thinking, and he's listening exactly to what his partner's saying, but not in a positive way. He is going, I'm remembering every single word you're going to say here because I'm going to bring this up later on. This is an aggressive thinking posture. Recently, he has his back's been against the wall, so he's like, shit, I have to take some advice from other people. Like me, for <laughs> So she said, Harley has to take advice from other people like me. Harley's holding his tongue here. Again, having your hand over your mouth is a way where you're trying to like, I'm not wanting to say anything here. So I think Harley knows he just needs to shut up. I, I, I'm, I wouldn't like to be freely at this point. Not because oh, I'm having to roast my, my husband, but or not husband, my boyfriend. But what, as we know, Harley fully admits, if he gets angry, he can be very, very violent. You know, he's talking about how he's bottled people in the past, how he's gone to jail because he just lit a fuse and he's gone mentally. He admit he calls himself the wasp's nest. I would didn't like to be freely here. Um, and just realizing that it's okay to make a mistake. Either. If you notice very quickly, there's also in our in body language, there's micro uh, mannerisms micro body movements there. What I saw with Harley was an, if you, I'll, I'll, you might be able to see it again, 
is he licks his lips. Licking his lips, and you see his mouth doing something like that. Generally, you get a dry mouth when A, you're being embarrassed, but also when you're angry. <sighs> there. It was right at that 2302. It was up. And he told himself. So, part embarrassment, part potential anger, and he's having to, he's getting a dry mouth at this point. And they're not dehydrated, that's for sure. And just realising that it's okay to make a mistake. You know, like you can apologise, it's okay, it doesn't mean you're a horrible person. <clears throat> Harley then, there again, is really licking the inside of his mouth. In other words, what's happening here is Harley is being massively insulted by Freely. I'm, I'm actually a little bit nervous watching this. Oh, yeah, Harley, in his head, doesn't want Freely to talk anymore. Harley's just like let's 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 not go here because you're getting me angry. Um, I'll I'll just bring that back a second again. And just realizing that it's okay to make a mistake, you know, like you can apologize. It's okay. It doesn't mean you're a horrible person. Um, and then just you know growing from that, and also not immediately looking for someone else, especially a partner, to blame for the things that you've done. Okay. Okay. So. Freely there has just pretty much said Harley blames her for the things that Harley has done. So Harley never admits a mistake. If he does anything wrong, it's somebody else's fault or it's Freely's fault. If Harley's in deep shit, if he's getting a lot of flack, he'll be getting angry and he'll be blaming his partner, like I'm holding on to myself just now, just watching this, just <laughs> reading this, and oh, this is it's not awkward. It's it's a interesting at the moment inside Harley's head. The crowd is disappearing. This is becoming a one-to-one -one conversation that he's just getting flack from her. I suspect freely. This may be the first time she is saying this to Harley. I suspect, potentially, she's been given the confidence and the authority to do this at this point because of the group. If she had just been telling him this on her own back at the ho hotel, he would be flippant, he would ignore her, he would brush it off, he would turn back everything and blame it on her. So Harley knows he's having to hold his tongue because if this was the same conversation at their hotel, Freely wouldn't go anywhere. This is probably the one time that Freely gets the chance to actually say this and it's because of the fact that she's in a group. She's got safety in numbers. <laughs> okay, let's, let's see, we're at 23.21. Say, like, hey, even though I've done this shit, it's your fault. You know what I mean? I, I find that kind of fucked up. Um, I think that's one of the worst things. That... And, like, he is physically biting his tongue. Like, his tongue is going into the side of his mouth, and he is biting his tongue. One of the worst traits. Harley's now, body language as well, crossed feet, holding hands. Just like, get over this, Get let's get to the next point. Uh, somebody asked me about carbs, do they make me fat? Oh, I need to know, I, I can do that. And he's in deep, like, look at his eyes, where his position is, freely looking to Harley for some form of communication. Harley is looking away and looking down. And he's like, that physical body shape is, I'm, it's how they're, I'm upset or I'm angry. I'm so angry, I can't look at you. You know? Have you ever been so angry that you've been at somebody that you can't look at them in the eyes? That's... And really looking to him for any form of acknowledgement of him going, yeah, you're right, yeah, you're right. But here he's just like, laser eyes. And... Uh, uh, oh, yeah. Your partner to blame for the things that you've done. 
Even though I've done this shit, it's your fault. You know what I mean? I, I find that kind of fucked up. Um, I think that's one of the worst things. Oh, no, no, no. See, so look at you. He, he doesn't want to make eye contact, but he, peripheral vision wise, he can see freely is looking at the crowd. That's when he looks at her. So he only looks at Freely when she is looking at the crowd. At this moment, at this moment, let's let's just double check. So he's biting his tongue, he's got a dry mouth, and he's avoiding actual eye contact. And when there is eye contact at him, he's looking down, not too happy. Um, and then just you know, growing from that. And also not immediately looking for someone else especially your partner, to blame for the things that you've done. Say, hey, <laughs> even though I've done this shit, it's your fault. You know what I mean? I, I find that kind of fucked up. Um, I think that's one of the worst things, that, one of the worst traits. So in a nutshell, me blaming you for stuff that I've done. Or blaming others as well. And just going, as soon as you know, you have to look within, like look inwards, you look outwards. And you're like, where can I blame you? Instead of like taking that criticism and going, oh, I'm gonna like, I'm gonna look at that and I'm gonna blame you. That's what I, I had a real. So you know the cogs are going round in Harley's head. He's going, how can I work this out? How can I bring this back so that I look good? How how do I process this information and look? all right in front of this audience. How do I keep my cool while she's effectively saying I've blamed her for everything, which may be true, but how do I square my way out of this? I think that this is any examples you can maybe give and then give me the like solution of what would be a better way I mean, of like, that. That's a lot of like Then there is instead of just taking criticism he is now wanting examples. Slightly, this is how she feels. This is how the behaviour has been. And he's like, give me examples. He's giving her a direct demand to give examples. Because then what he's hoping is she'll give an example where he could refute instead of just taking the acknowledgement of the actual total behaviour. He's wanting specific examples which he can then break down and then later on he will have in the back of his head and just go that example where I did this, that did this, blah 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 instead of acknowledging the total behaviour he's looking for specific examples so that he can criticise and refute individual examples uh, I'll just take that back a couple of seconds there I'm going to look at that and I'm going to write that that's what I, I have a real I think that this is any examples you can maybe give and then give me the like solution of what would be a better way I mean, like, there's a lot of personal examples and stuff that I'm obviously not going to tell well, she says there's a lot of personal examples that I'm not wanting to talk about in front of the audience so here uh, I don't know what happens but if I was Harley I would imagine he then pushes her again to try and give an example or give more information than what she would want to do in front of an audience here. So again, making her look like she's... So putting somebody under the spotlight, under the pressure of give me an example, if they're not able to give an example or don't want to give an example, it's the hope that they in, in, uh, induce some suspiciousness or uh, uh, unreliability in what they're actually saying. So, well, uh, if you can't bring up any exact examples, then I don't believe that these are real. You can maybe give and then give me the like solution of what would be a better way. I mean, like, there's a lot of personal examples and stuff that I'm obviously not going to tell well, you. Is, is, there, is there an example you'd be comfortable sharing that you think I could have done better? So there, so I was right. He, he pushed her again for a second time. I wonder if there'll be a third time. Um, but uh, this is this is awkward. So a second time, I want an example which you think is okay to share with everyone. Putting her under the spotlight, making her have to she so what well, also this disrupts her her flow. So in other words, instead of her just getting to get going through the flow of getting stuff off her chest and explaining behaviours which are bad for Harley, he's now interrupting her flow of thought and conversation 
with having to delve into her memory, to think of specific examples, to think of the details, to think of the ones which are safe for this audience, um, and that aren't ones that could be refuted in some sort of way. So he's breaking down her from going to the next point of just going, look, he's got to take advice from other people. <laughs> so, so she's closed him down there by saying, not right now, and the audience has laughed. I mean, like, there's a lot of personal examples and stuff that I'm obviously not going to tell you. Is, is there an example you can talk to sharing that he thinks you could have done better? It's not right now. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, over the years. It's just enough. There's so, so many. It's just that if I get into all that, it's just going to become, like, a big old... <laughs> Jerry Springer. <laughs> she, and so freely there says, there's so many, there's so many. Br bringing humour to break the tension there, Holly says, Jerry Springer, thank goodness there was some break. <laughs> Harley did a quick rub of her shoulder and then instantly looks away. Um, instead of rubbing her shoulder going, okay, we'll talk about this later, darling, or something, it's a rub of the shoulder Guessing her attention, and then look how he's looking away, going, I'm "Not dealing with this." It, this is not active body language. This is unconscious body language. This is stuff which you don't know that you're doing when you're doing it. Um, but if you go almost frame by frame, it's it's not a happy viewing. It's just enough. There's so many. It's just like, if I get into all that, it's just going to become like a big old Jerry Springer. <laughs> <laughs> So Freely's trying to lower the tension by saying she's not perfect at all. Uh, where does this go? But I feel like, you know, if you're, you put yourself up as a leader in the community, you have to learn to take criticism as well. And like, Look at him instantly looking away when she is saying, when you've put yourself up as a leader in the community, you've got to take criticism. He's just like, you can tell in the back of his head, he's just like, shut up. And you can just, you can, that is, there's a smile but just beforehand, and then he's like, yeah, angry. You know, if you're, you put yourself up as a leader in the community, you have to learn to take criticism as well. And like, no, it's okay to make mistakes, and I'm not... Like, the, the phrase, biting your lip, is exactly what he's doing. He's like, yeah, i got to shut up here. Because if he were, because again, if this was in a situation where they're not surrounded by 50 people watching, Harley would be pouncing. Attack. Blame me for your grey hair. <laughs> <laughs> she, so she says, you, br you blame me for your grey hair, which is, like, funny, funny, but I suspect that is something which he has done. He said, you're stressing me out, you're making me get grey hair. Me, but you sleep with other girls, like that. Like, there's no one except you. Okay. Oh, that was awkward. Okay, so there she just dropped the bomb. She dropped the bomb there. She said, you blame me for sleeping with other girls. Ah, let's, let's just, okay, break that down. I can make mistakes, and I'm not to blame others. I blame me for great hair. I'm to blame <laughs> oh, okay. So this is where tension is at max. Okay, so we're both body language, simple, cross eye, but here is the stare off. This is a stare off. Freely is obvious. The way she says, Harley blames her for him sleeping with other girls. The way she throws her hand out there, 
as if that was just a flippant part of our relationship. How Harley clearly, in explaining to Freely, was like, it's nothing, it's nothing, it's nothing, just forget about it. She's probably mimicking the body language that Harley used of just going, it's nothing. As if it was nothing. As if your boyfriend of seven years, who you spend 24 hours with, when you've broken up for just a couple of days, fucking other girls, is nothing. That's, that's not what most relationships would call nothing. But she is obviously saying that that's the way that Harley has de dealt with it. He shot her down whenever she's been trying to find out the information about it. He shut her down and made it as if it was a flippant thing of no importance. <laughs> so there is a stare off. There is a stare off. There is the, okay, you've said this. And this is her saying to him, I'm saying this. This this is where I think this is something that Freely would not have wanted to have ever said. This is her and look at how she says look at the hand movement that she was like getting something off your chest? What is that phrase meaning? Okay, let's say it's a phrase, but the actual movements that she had of mm. So flippant remarks of oh I said with other people as if it was just you're sweeping away dust. She's getting something off her chest here. Wow, the body language is unreal here. It is it's amazing. And then it's a stare off of going, I've said this, and he's looking at her going, You have said this. <laughs> I can see this. Maybe we should put from the Jerry Springer. <laughs> so then he brings up the Jerry Springer joke again. He is just trying to find any way out of this. <sighs> Is that, is that, hopefully that's it. Still love you, Harley. <laughs> <laughs> now, Harley, you're saying, please. Now, Harley, you're saying, please. What was that? What was that? She was... <laughs> now, Harley, you're saying, please. Now, Harley... Take your place. I, I don't know what she said there, but she's like, no, Harley, you're go, or something like that. And then look. Straight into the next question. Hey, uh, how many miles should I do? And then it's like, ah, and we get to talk about something else. That was, um, that was a bit nervous there. I was actually a bit nervous there. So she got things off her chest. He couldn't look at her. Anytime she looked at him, he was looking down and angry. When he tapped her on the shoulder, as if to say, oh, I'm sorry, he instantly looks away and down, as if, yeah, I'm not happy about this. That's bad. That's, that's an awkward situation. So, yeah. Amazingly, with body language, a lot of it, <laughs> yeah. If, if uh, you know, people say, I felt awkward in that situation, that's because what's happening is you're reading all the other information, sometimes some of it is very quick, some of it is not even consciously noticeable. Like the licking of your lips, the bite of your tongue, the uh, tongue in cheek, the, the flippant movements, that, that, you know, looking at the eye positions and everything there. I've seen roastings happening and Usually they're a bit funny or something like that, but that one was a bit to the bone. Freely got something off her chest there. Freely wasn't wasn't comfortable about that, but I suspect that was the only situation where she could have said that without Harley going off the rails at her. Like I think Freely's a total dick, but it just makes me think more and more Harley is a dangerous person. 
I'm sure he'll admit it himself. I'm a dangerous person. I'm a wasp's nest. Hit the wasp's nest and you get stung. I... don't hate either of these people, but I do think Harley... is not so good.